So once you're logged into anti-gravity, you'll see this view wherein on the right hand side, you can see the agent and on the left hand side, you can see a traditional ID. I click on the open agent manager view. There's a couple of configurations. Number one is the inbox view. This is where the agent manager is primarily going to be at. You're going to spin off asynchronous tasks to the model and then look at your inbox to see the status of the model or if you need to provide any input. Also have a couple of options wherein the, I can choose the conversation mode as planning or fast. I also have model options. So here's what I've asked it. I've asked it to create a simple dividend tracker application, which is going to give me the dividend per percentage of the list of stocks that I added. Now, if I click on this review, I can see the artifacts that the agent has created. The first one is the task list. It gives me a detailed step-by-step -step breakdown of the task. What's really cool about this is I can go back and edit any of these. I can add a comment just as I would in a Google document and then submit that to the model in order to make the change. I gave the task to the model and I stepped out and I came back. I have a new message from the model. Let's open this. This is the implementation artifact that was created by the model. In this case i'm going to select this and say use yahoo finance data and then add a comment on the implementation plan that was created and then i'm going to review it and submit this you can see that it opened up the browser and when the agent is controlling the browser you can see that there is a blue halo around it you can see that it's adding the stock it's getting the dividend yield and it's also recording all of this so that when I as an agent manager views it, I can only see the status update for those. Now in my inbox, I can see that there's a new notification or a new message for me from the agent. So if I click on it and let's take a look at it. So now it's giving me a concise summary saying that the browser tests are successful. Now this is great, but these are not just outputs. These are verifiable outputs that was created based on the artifact. So now I can take a look at it and ensure that yes, this was in fact actually actually working because the model recorded the video of the screen recording and then went back and also analyzed it in order to ensure that this is working as expected. Now here's what I can do. I can add more features to it in parallel. So let me go ahead and add a couple of new threads. So now I have two asynchronous tasks that has been sent to the model and both of them are running in parallel. I can choose different models for each of these tasks. I have two of them which is still running. I can also filter it just by the pending task list. I can see that one of the tasks is complete and the other one is almost complete as well. So in this case it says hey the dividend tracker for the total dividend has been completed. If I enter in the number of shares it's going to give me the final output but again as I mentioned before there is also a verifiable output as well which I can view and then the visualize the dividend with the pie graph is all complete. So now let's go ahead and test the app to see if it's working fine and see that I can add in 10 stocks of Apple and there you go. I have the total dividend, which is the annual income as well as the yield. And I also have visualization of the dashboard.